What's going on guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today I'm going to show you guys another method to install jailbreak applications on iOS 11 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch without jailbreaking. Now this is actually part of my ongoing series that I've done here on YouTube for quite some time now and it does not require Cydia, it does not require a jailbreak, and it will allow you to install jailbreak applications, tweaked applications, hacked games, and emulators and more all without a jailbreak. Absolutely awesome. Brand new method in this video so let's jump right into it. So I'm really excited about this video guys because this is a brand new method to install jailbreak applications on iOS 11. As you guys know iOS 11 is still currently in beta as I made this video beta 4 was just released a couple days ago. So it is kind of cool to see new methods continually being developed without a jailbreak actually right now and allowing us to install all of these tweaked apps and hacked games and all sorts of jailbreak apps and stuff like that. So absolutely awesome to see that and I'm very excited about that. But this method is extremely simple guys and it is very similar to the other methods I've shown you guys in the past so let's get right into it so this is a brand new installer guys it is actually called IPA box as you can see right down there in the lower left I'll go ahead and open it up here show you guys what it looks like it is very similar to the other installers it does have a home section an app section and a settings section very very simple uh, settings actually has a dark mode here which is kind of cool you can switch it into dark mode or keep it on light mode uh, you can also see the actual credits to the developer you can also donate and install the iOS 11 beta and the applications are right here in the middle just a very very simple interface you can install tweaked apps packages like jailbreaks and screen recorders and all sorts of jailbreak applications like pb plus uh, plus live wire you can also see paid applications for free here and they also have further hacked games here that allows you to actually change the in-app purchases so very very simple interface guys but it does work extremely well so let's jump into the installation process now similar to the other videos i posted here on youtube all you have to do to begin is open up safari and go to the website down there in the description it's going to be ipa box .ga, and you will get a very simple website it just looks like this and you will have an actual option to download app in the middle here you're gonna go ahead and click that and it actually on iOS 11 it'll give you this little pop-up on iOS 10 it'll just bring you straight into the settings application just go ahead and hit allow on iOS 11 and you'll jump into the settings as well now here you want to actually just keep clicking install until it is installed install again install and then click done. It'll bring you back into Safari and at this point you can just go to the home screen. You'll see that you have IPA box installed right there on your home screen. Really, really easy to get this downloaded guys. So I love that it's very simple to download. All you have to do to install an application is actually open up the app, go into the apps section and I'll go ahead and download, let's say Phantom Blue. Click on the application, it gives you a little pop up and then go ahead and click install. And at this point, guys, it will begin to download to your device. So go ahead and go to the home screen, and you can see that it is actually downloading right there on my device, guys. So I will come back when it is installing. So as you guys can see, it is now installing on my device. It should be ready to go in a few seconds. So it has fully downloaded here on my device, guys. And as you guys can see, if I go to open it, it actually will work directly on my device. Some applications actually require you to go into the settings application, go into general, then profiles and device management, go and pick the developer and then go ahead and verify the application and trust the developer. Very, very easy process. So again, that's general profiles and device management, then find your profile for the application and go ahead and trust it. Then you can go ahead and actually open up the application and it should work just fine guys. Very, very easy to use. And one of my favorite pieces of this application is that it does have a dark mode guys. You guys know how much I love the dark mode and it looks just incredible when you go ahead and use it. Very simple interface, highly recommend this application. Now what I like about actually recent developments here guys on YouTube is that there are a lot of developers developing applications like IPA box that allow us to install jailbreak applications without actually jailbreaking. And this is good news because in general jailbreaking is kind of fading out we probably will be seeing jailbreaks for ios 11 but it is becoming harder and harder to do and there are less and less perks about jailbreaking that we had in the past i mean for example we have all these apps now apple's just implementing a lot of new features but there will always be customization and third-party apps that apple does not allow and that is why we are actually looking forward to jailbreaks so for now it is good that these developers are continuing to develop apps like this to install applications without a jailbreak because in general if we don't have a jailbreak this is really the only method besides side 
bootloading that we can use to get new applications on our devices. But anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe for jailbreak applications and for IPA box. Again, I will have the link to IPA box down there in the description for you guys to download and install. Be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up if you did enjoy the jailbreak apps and this video. I will also have my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and my website page along with my Instagram page and other cool links for you guys to check me out down there in the description. So be sure to stay in touch with me on those. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.